There we are, Pilar Montenegro. Quítame ese cabrón. What the hell? Is that what she said? Quítame ese cabrón? No, no, she said quítame ese calzón. She was saying something like that. I don't think I like that either way. I really, really don't. Good morning, Double R Radio Tuesday morning it is. El 15 de mayo, 2022. 60 degrees happening right now in San Antonio. Sunny skies. A beautiful day here in San Antonio. We had a cold front come through here last night and... uh we're in trouble. When, when we have a cold front come through here and you don't feel it, you don't feel no coolness, no cold air, you don't got to come out in the morning with a jacket or anything, that means that these cold fronts don't have no meaning anymore. They have no impact anymore. Now we just got spring and um, a long, hot summer ahead of us. And I do mean that. Speaking of spring, uh, they had that daylight savings time happen this past weekend, Saturday night, Sunday morning, where... Spring forward. Fall is fall backwards. Spring. Spring forward. One hour. And, uh, well, um, I woke up Sunday morning and said, Oh, man, I got plenty of time to sleep. It's 8 o'clock. And lo and behold, I said, Wait a minute. I forgot to remind myself. Daylight saving. So it was actually 9 o'clock. So I took a quick shower. My quick showers don't involve any soap. Uh, my, my long showers involve soap. Shampoo, torpedo, but uh, my quick showers, no soap. There we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, right. You're probably going, man, Robert, you're weird. Yeah, I know. Good morning, Chad. I got out the double R radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas, Buenos Dias. Let's see what's going on out here, man. I haven't even looked at the news. I'm coming out here, man. I'm talking to you guys with no safety net. What I mean by that is that I don't know what's out here. I haven't even looked at anything, but I'm going to find something to talk about. That's right. Now, check this out. Um, here in San Antonio, I don't know about where you guys live, but here in San Antonio, there is this thing called these uh, uh, paletas called El Paraiso. 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 P-A-R-A-I-S-O. El Paraiso. Paletas. Now, these paletas... They're like ice cream bars, right? And usually you always see an old man with a little caretilla. Paletas! Paletas! Right? You see an old... Usually it's always an old man. You never see somebody young. You always see an old man. Paletas! Right? And, uh, well, um, according to news reports, for the first time in 38 years, the paletas have gone up in price. The hell's their problem? All of a sudden, they they want to make more money. Thirty-eight years. It's taken them thirty-eight years to raise the price of these paletas. Man, next time I see that old man, paletas with a gold watch and a gold chain and everything, I'm gonna say, well, I know why he's got a gold watch and a gold chain. Cause they went up on the prices. You know, one time I was at a small little bar, and there was this really, really old man there. I mean, that guy was really, really old. I mean, so old, he still had cobwebs on his arms and everything. Really, really old. Well, anyways, um, we had a beer. We were talking a little bit, and uh, I told him, Oye, amigo, ¿qué hace? ¿Dónde trabajas, amigo? And he tells me, pues, vendo paletas. And I go, oh, really? I think I've seen you out there, man. Yeah, yeah, do you make any money doing that, selling paletas? He goes, pues, te lo voy a ir, amigo. And he was all viejito. He starts wiping his face and his forehead. Te lo voy a ir, amigo. No, de verdad que no hago mucho dinero, pero te lo voy a ir. Los beneficios de vendiendo paletas, which, the benefits of selling paletas. And I go, what's that? If you're not making money, what's the benefits of selling paletas? He goes, las viejas, las muchachas, caen del cielo. They're falling, men. For some reason, women are very, very attracted to the paleta, man. I said, really? I didn't know that. I never knew that women are attracted to paleta, man. Sí, camarada, te lo voy a ir. Te lo siempre me dicen, puedo ver tu paleta. I go, no, they told you that? Really? Si, sí, me dicen. Puedo ver tu paleta. Y que, what kind of flavor is your paleta? 
and then I go, man, I'm in the wrong business. I'm in the Uber business, the radio station business. I got to get into the paleta business. That's what I need to do. And he goes, hey, mira, amigo, mira, I'm going to show you that way you don't think I'm lying to you. Okay, I'm not calling you a liar, but if you want to you wanna go ahead and come clean and say that you're not lying, how is it that you can tell me you're not lying about meeting all these women being the paleta, man? He goes, pues mira todos los child supports que tengo, amigo. Tengo como unos 15 child supports. I go, man, I don't want all those child supports. I'll take the women. But, man, I don't want all those child supports. So, anyways, it's the, um, I may go apply. <laughs> I'm not like making this up. I may go apply to be a paleta man. I want to sell paletas. Heck, man, if that's where the action is, I'm going to sell paletas. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to have all those flavors. Good morning, Santa Canata. Tony Rivas. He said, good morning, primo. Good morning, Tony. Also, good morning, prima. Irene Gaona. Buenos dias, prima. He said, El Pariso. They are good. Yeah, prima, but they're saying that uh, they're going up on their prices. They're saying that those little old men con las caretillas, they've had enough. So, um, word has it that Uber is going to go into the paleta business. They will not only take you there, but they'll sell you a paleta as well. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. Cindy Martinez Hernandez says they only went up five. Five cents is five cents. I don't care. Those nickels add up. I told this girl like to date back in 77 that. And then she told me, really? And I go, yeah, five cents add up. And she said, well, you tell me when they add up to $100,000, then I'll date you. Well, I'm still waiting for that nickel to add up to $100,000. So I haven't seen her since. Good morning, shout out. <laughs> good morning, shout out. Going out to Victoria Purdue. He said, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, Victoria. Hopefully you're doing uh, good as well. So there we go. The Paleta Man is the Paleta Man. Let's see here. What the hell else is going on around here? Those Paleta Men, you got to watch out for them. They will. And they always want to show you their Paleta. Uh-huh. Uh, by the way, let me see here. Let me see here. What else do I have here? Do, do. You know that uh, this morning, actually, uh, I uh, this past weekend, I uh, posted a picture of uh, my brand new car. It's not really too, it's brand new, but I bought it like two months ago, right? I finally decided to put a picture of my brand new car on my Facebook page, right? Well, this morning, I happened to pick up this gentleman, and he was going to a Hyundai dealership to go pick up his car. So he was in my car and he goes, my car isn't like your car. Where'd you get your car from? And I told him, he goes, what year's your car? And I told him and he goes, my car isn't as good as your car. I wonder why. And I said, probably because I got a bigger monthly payment than you do. He goes, does yours have alerts on the doors? Yes, it does. He said, does it have an airbag? Yes, it does. Does it have a sun? Yes, it does. Then he goes, does it stop if case you don't stop for any Yes, it does. And then he says, does it pick up women? Yes, it does. He goes, mine doesn't pick up women. I said, dude, uh, if your car isn't picking up women, uh, get into the paleta business. According to what's going on here, man, the paleta business is the way to go. That's right. Get into the paleta business and you'll be okay. You'll never be lonely again. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I can only imagine the paleta viejitos, man, when they're done for the day, right? They bring the caretilla, pobrecitos, they roll it into their living room, and they're right there, <laughs> right? In the morning, they get started again. You know, no lie, several years ago, this is all true, several years ago, I went to, um, let me see here, don't want to miss anybody, there we go, good morning, Jada, good the double R radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, I already said that, San Antonio, thanks to double R radio sponsor. Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning. Brian Jeller, there we go. Speaking of Hyundai dealerships, Superior Hyundai Red McCombs in the Casa. How you doing, brother? Anyways, um, speaking of what I was saying about uh, paletas and stuff, 
one time I went to Mexico. This is all true, man. I'm not making this up. This is about 10 years ago. Give or take there a little bit. How much time do I have? Do I have time for the story? Let me see here. I got time for the story. Well, anyways, I was in Mexico, right? Me and a buddy of mine, we went to this kind of like an outside patio bar. It was right along the border. You could see the United States. We were sitting there. Hey, man, I, I, I can see uh, Laredo. It's right. I can see the people crossing the river. He goes, yeah, you see them all the time. Well. Oh. So we're drinking two or three beers, right? Right, just wondering what the poor people are doing. Right, drinking our beers. And some guy, he kind of looked like the paleta man. But it wasn't. This guy had a little caratilla, right? He goes, taquitos, taquitos, quieren taquitos, muchachos. And I go, hey, I'm a little bit hungry. What about you? He goes, I'm a little bit hungry. I said, pues amigo, amigo, how much are your tacos? He goes, you get 10 tacos for $1. Ten tacos for one dollar? Diez taquitos por un dólar. I go, man, that's a hell of a deal. Um, so it's kind of like when it's too good to be true. So I told him, um, what kind of tacos do you have that are ten for a dollar? And he tells me, tengo chicken fajita, beef fajita, tripas, tengo este a carne guisada, pica. I said, man, you got the good stuff. Ten tacos for one dollar? He goes, si, sí, amigo, y también le pongo guacamole, pico de gallo. I said, man, uh, you'd make a killing if you came to San Antonio. So ten tacos for one dollar? And then my buddy goes, hey, hey, dude, you got to be careful with this guy selling those tacos ten for a dollar. And I go, why? He goes, because they all taste the same. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I've tried them before. They all taste the same. And he goes, and let me tell you something. Remember when we got here about an hour ago? And I go, yes. He goes, remember we opened up our first beer and you told me, man, that dog just won't shut up. He won't stop barking. I go, yes, I remember that. Well, have you heard him barking ever since? And I said, no. What do you think is inside those tortillas, amigo? Uh -uh. So I told him, hey, dude, dude, are you sure that's beef, fajitas, tripas? He goes, si, sí, carne, carne, there, beef, picadillo, chicken, guacamole, todo. And he tells me, and even better, my tacos, they're good to the last bite. And I go, no, 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 no. He's trying to sell us doggy tacos. So I went ahead and waited till I came across the border and went to Jack in the Box. All true. Get mining. There we go. How we doing, everybody? Tuesday morning it is. And uh, let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. We're all good to go. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertReversRadio.com. YouTube viewers, subscribe, 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 por favor. Morning show time. Join me now. RobertReversRadio.com. Click on that uh, media player. It's all free, man. Just join me now. What are they?